Andy M. from Bristol, United Kingdom. Given the scenario of continuing, although slow Russian advances and no nuclear weapon usage anywhere, how long do you think this conflict could potentially go on for? No, I, I believe that this conflict will be over by the end of summer, early fall. I think Russia is prepared to launch a broad uh, offensive along the entire front, slow. They'll advance in certain areas, and as they advance, Ukraine will divert reserves to that area. In doing so, they'll be stripping away another part of the line where Russia will then exploit, and Ukraine will have to keep moving, and Russia will keep advancing, exploiting the gaps until Ukraine runs out of people, at which time Ukraine will do what I call the Army Group Center collapse, which is named after what happened to the German Army Group Center during, uh, the, um, during World War II on the Eastern Front in 1944 when subjected to a similar pressure from the soviet forces simply collapsed it was the end of the resistance the front line burst and the russians went through and i think or the soviets and that's what i think is going to happen here i think russia is going to hit ukraine with this broad offensive that's going to be slow methodical russia's perfected this you know russia has is going to fight doctrinally and we're going to about we're about to learn what russian offensive doctrine looks like and it's going to be very methodical fire intensive. The Ukrainians aren't going to have a chance to kill Russians because they're going to be destroyed by artillery and they're going to be overwhelmed by Russian tanks and infantry moving in slowly, not so fast that they expose their gaps and rears to ambush, slowly. And then as Ukrainians pour troops in to stop them, a gap will appear here. The Russians will exploit that slowly, killing everything in their path. The Ukrainians are coming and it's just going to be a collapse. And I think militarily Ukraine will be defeated by the end of summer, early fall of this year. Uh, Scott, aren't they getting billions of dollars of new equipment? Yeah, it'll all get destroyed in the process too, along with the tens of thousands of Ukrainians who are going to man it. There ain't nothing NATO can throw right now um, that is um, cast as a Ukrainian proxy that can stop even the leopard tanks that are coming in. It's just going to show that yet again, German steel rusts when it's destroyed by Russian steel on Ukrainian battlefields. Thank you.